Hello and welcome back to Dicebreaker, where you wheels have never played Tobago. Me? Me? I'm the bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is Tobago, Louise? <laughs> oh my lord! This it's, is this is what? one of those ones where it's not like, oh yeah, I really wish you know I'd, I'd get around to playing this. Everyone's talking about it. I've never heard of Tobago. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, most people I've spoken to about this game haven't heard from it, haven't heard of it either. Yeah, it's one of those like really kind of unknown games, but it's so good. Like. I don't even. I think I I came across it when I worked at a board game cafe. It was just one of the board games in, in the in the library, and uh, we played it then, and I loved it. And it's out of print, I'm pretty sure. And I think that might be part of why it's like not very well known. Um, but it's it's essentially it's an island exploration game where you're looking for treasure, and um, you each have like pieces of a treasure map. And you place the pieces of the treasure map to try and narrow down where there's like four different potential uh -huh. treasures on the island. So at the moment, you can see that the brown treasure is in one of these spaces where the brown cubes are laying, laid down. So it's currently, if you look below the brown um, oh, yeah. treasure cubes at the top, it says uh, there's a card and it says it's next to the largest mountains. Um, and the largest mountains is essentially the area of mountains that has the most... Um, what shape is that? Uh, hexes. Hectic he hexes? Yeah. Yeah, hectacles. That That's the, the one. Hectacles. <laughs> <laughs> the area that has the most hectacles of mountains. That's the biggest mountain area. And that's why that was narrowed down there. So is this a um, randomly generated map? Yeah. So the in real life, the map is like three different uh, pieces. And you can like put them together in different ways. So you can mm -hmm. potentially have different maps all the time. Um, yeah. So... To start with, we have to place our ATVs somewhere, which are just our cars. Um, and you place them anywhere on the map, uh, even in the water. Place it in the water, you can drive through water in this for some reason. Um, it's and an all-terrain <laughs> vehicle, Lolis. It really is. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> um, and you're going to want to place your ATV somewhere near where you think the treasure might appear. So at the moment, like we kind of have an idea of where the brown one's going to be. So it might be an idea to place ourselves somewhere near the brown. Okay. Um, but also you might have a card that might narrow down one of the other treasures that I don't know about and maybe you want to like place yourself somewhere where that might be. Um, on your turn you can do one of two things, uh, two basic things. You can either play a treasure map. Mm -hmm. So you'll see on your left side you have uh, six, seven, how many is that? Six? Yes, six cards. <laughs> uh, wow, that was really hard to count. <laughs> um, you have six cards and they're all treasure maps and you can play one of those under one of these uh, treasure cubes on the right uh, to either narrow down one of the ones we can already see or one of the ones we haven't seen yet. Or you can move your ATV. Moving your ATV is uh, works that you can move it up to three legs and legs work like this. One leg can be as far as you want within one terrain. Right. So I'm going to place my ATV down. Let's say my ATV is there. I could now go to the far side of that green terrain and that would be one leg. Okay. Or if I move into a new type of terrain, that costs one leg. Okay. Those are the two like leg legs. And then you can move <laughs> up to three legs. <laughs> so for example, you could move to the to like the far left of this forest for one leg move mm -hmm. into the uh, lake for a new leg and mm -hmm. then move to the edge of the lake in any direction for a third leg. Yeah, okay. correct. That's a yeah. whole lot of legs. <laughs> That's a lot of legs. Um, so those are your two options on your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 yeah, and then your cards are mostly self-explanatory, but also if you hover over them, they pretty much tell you yeah. what they mean, um, which is really handy because in real life I would have to explain them all. <laughs> <laughs> but if any of them doesn't make sense, I think they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, the rule with placing a, a treasure map card is that it has to make a change in the knowledge that you already have. So we know it's next to the largest mountains, so you wouldn't be able to play a card that says it's not next to the smallest mountain yeah, or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, something like that. Um, and the game ends when all 41 of these treasure cards are gone. So what will happen, and this is an important thing to note, 
is whenever you play a treasure card, you place your little, what are they called? Your your compass roses on them. So I have the red one, you have the blue one. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll see at the moment, I have a red compass rose under the gray treasure and you have a blue one under the brown treasure. Um, so if you were to play another um, treasure map onto the brown treasure, you would play another blue one. Um, and let's say I put a tre uh, treasure map under that one, then I would put a red one. And the reason that that matters is when you lift the treasure, so when we've narrowed it down to one cube and you go to lift the treasure, you look at the compass roses that are down and that's how the treasure is divvied up. So the more you contribute to finding the treasure, the more treasure you will actually get. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. it'll also mean that you get a certain amount of knowledge as to the treasure that's being found. I think I'll talk about that more once we get to it because <laughs> if we're playing on BGA, it's quite an easy one for me to just explain as we go. Okay. All right. Um, so I need to place my all-terrain vehicle down. How, mm -hmm. do, how do we actually end up picking up the treasures? Do we end our turn on a space or something? Yeah, you have to move to the space where, okay. where the cube is. You have I'm... to narrow down to one cube. I'm going to go here. Okay. So now it's my turn, and it tells me at the top here, you can change your clue cards. That's something you can do uh, instead of taking a turn, actually. Mm -hmm. um, or I can play my turn, which I'm going to say, no, I want to play. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> no, I would like to play, actually, game, yeah, if you don't mind. I would. Thank you. And I'm going to do this and play this clue card on this treasure. So I've now said the brown treasure is not Oh, on the <laughs> yeah, because I saw you were there and I was like, ah, ah, ah. My microphone just fell on the keyboard and hit the oh. down button, which scrolled to the absolute bottom of the page, which is very funny. <laughs> um, I'm still getting used to this. I've been twisting it around into different cells because I feel like it's always taking up most of my camera. Uh, well, I'm going to do the exact same thing then um, because I'm going to say it's not in the jungle. Oh, so it looks okay. like we're both next to the treasure now. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to say that the gray treasure is also oh. next to a mountain. So it's next to a mountain and next to a beach. So the nice thing is with, with BGA as well, if you hover you, over yeah. the... Yeah, it lights up. Which in real life, you just have to tell. <laughs> you have to, <laughs> to be able to see them. <laughs> okay. All right. So... I reckon... The... Now, I, I wouldn't be able to... Okay, I'm going to move. <laughs> I'm going to move. Oh. This move is not authorized now. Okay, I'm going to move my ATV. So first leg, second leg, third leg. Okay, interesting. So you must have one that says, like, it's one beside a hut or something. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> That's my guess. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to say... That the grey treasure... Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't do that. Wait, can I? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I don't want to do that. I'm going to say that the black treasure is in the biggest lake. Okay. And then I'm going to say that the brown treasure is next to a hut. Okay. And yes, I would like to raise the treasure. Okay, so now, right. <laughs> the knowledge that you have, you now see four treasure cards, I believe. Yes. And you can see the value, and you may or may not see a skull and crossbones. Don't tell me if you do. Okay. Um, You now have knowledge of four of the cards. I can see one card, mm -hmm. and the one card will be added at random that neither of us have seen. They then get shuffled together, and then starting with the bottom of this kind of track you get first dibs you will actually get second and third dibs as well i get four dibs and you get fifth dibs um on the treasure now obviously you have a lot more knowledge on what kind of treasure there is so you might say like you might know that um 
there's like loads of fours or fives or whatever. So you might say no to like lesser value ones. Or you might know that there's the skull and crossbones, which is a cursed treasure. Uh -huh. And if there is a cursed treasure, you want to try and take as much treasure as you can before the cursed treasure card comes up. Because at the moment, neither of us has an amulet, which means that um, if the cursed treasure comes up, the I know I haven't explained <laughs> amulets yet. This sounds, um, it sounds like you're doing tech support for a ritual. Like, <laughs> right, well, see now, now, now what you got is uh, you need to be looking out for cursed treasures because you ain't got an amulet right now. So you you got to contact your local wizard and get him uh, get him involved. Because... <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah, because no, 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 neither have an, has an amulet. So if a cursed treasure comes up, what will happen is you will lose your highest value treasure mm -hmm. and the treasure uh, dividing ends immediately and nobody gets any more treasure. Okay. So essentially, if there is a cursed treasure, you just want to take them as quickly as you can. If there is no cursed treasure, you want to take the highest value ones that you can. The treasure values go from two to six. Could I not, if I have first, second and third dips... Mm -hmm. Could I not like take two treasures and then a skull on purpose so that you get nothing? Um, it they come up randomly, so you don't know when the the skull okay. is going to come up. Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. I have seen them. Also, you're going to lose treasure if you take the skull. Don't forget, it it loses you your highest value treasure. Okay, so now I get to say <clears throat> whether or not I want a card. Yes, bear in mind, if you say no to this, it will pass to your second compass rose. If you say no, it will pass to your third. Then it will pass to me. I can say yes or no. If I say no, it will pass to your last one. The reason that matters is because if you say yes now, that compass rose gets removed and you only get the first two dibs on the next ones coming up. Okay. So you might want to leave the bad ones for your later one. If that makes sense. Right. Um, I'd also say, I'm going to say no to this one. Okay. There is one more treasure than we can possibly have, like each have. There's, so there's five. Sorry. There's five <laughs> opportunities for us to take treasure, but there yes. are six treasures. Right. So for you, unless there's a cursed relic, you might want to just pass on that one with your last one as well. Unless, yeah. So, okay. So if I say there was a cursed relic. Mm -hmm. and you said no to it, but my compass was still at the end, would I then have to take it? You don't have to take it. You can say no, and it just gets thrown away. Okay. But if there's a cursed relic, you're going to want to take it because you want to get as much money as you can because at the end of the game, whoever has the most money wins. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <gasps> yes, nice catch. Yes, nice catch. Nope, I'll wait. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything better. Yes, nice catch. No! You would have gotten first. <laughs> yep, nice catch. Here. Yep, <gasps> nice catch. <laughs> no, I would have gotten the six. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, that puts me on 21 coins. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have to tell me that because I can't see that. Oh, okay. Well, you could have theoretically counted, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Would I though? Probably not. I could barely <laughs> count the fact we have six cards in our hands at the beginning. That's very true. <laughs> so now, so is Brown just finished now? Uh, actually, if you look at the top here, it says you must play a clue card to reopen that map. So you're going to reopen the brown treasure now. Oh, okay. So we're just going to keep going until we run out of cards. Right. Okay, got it. Until we run out of treasure, yeah. So I'm going to say that the brown treasure is in... Uh, he's next to a lake. Okay. So now you're about to hear a noise. Oh, there was... There we go. Um, <laughs> I can't hear a noise. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe you don't have the sounds turned on. Um, So if you look at the map now, there mm. are... Wait, is there only two? What is this thing? Three. So these are amulets. These are what I was just talking about a second ago. Oh, um, these, oh these things. Like, I was looking at the giant Stonehenge things. Oh, yeah. So those are the things that just moved. They create the amulets. So you know right. where the amulets are going to turn up because of the where they're facing. So the... Hold on. Let me turn on my cursor so you can see. See this one down here? Whoa! I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> this one was actually facing down this way, down south. Uh -huh. um, and so it, it plopped an amulet there, and then it turned 
to the next direction. Okay. So on, next time we raise a treasure, it's going to pop an amulet right here, mm -hmm. and then it's going to face this way. And then, so all of the amulets do that. They plop down an amulet, and then they turn like to the next uh, angle. Where is this one? This Oh, there's two here. There must be two amulets up here. Um, and so what the amulets do is they're actually really, really useful. They do a number of things. Um, they essentially let you have another turn. So if you have an amulet, you can take another move action. You can play an extra clue card. You can remove one single cube from the board, which can narrow down where treasures are. If there's like two cubes and it's really hard to separate them or whatever, you can use that. Um, and as before I mentioned, if you have an amulet and a cursed relic comes up, that's the only way to negate a cursed relic. You just go, nah, I've got an amulet, I'm protected. Okay. Um, so essentially, you kind of always want to hold on to um, an amulet f for that occasion. But then if you get loads of extra ones, then you can uh, use them for other fun stuff. Okay. So... It is right. my turn. I also quite like that in the game log it says, Mysterious amulets appear on the coastline. Then <laughs> a grinding noise fills the air. Did those statues just move? Very, very cryptic. <laughs> very atmospheric, I would say. Okay, I'm okay. going to move my ATV. One, two, three. Oh, yes, I'll go for the amulets. Pick up the amulet. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Oh, there was only one there. That's annoying. Well. Hmm. I'm Luke, I'm five, and my dad's Bruce Lee. Driving around <laughs> Oh, my TV. God. I don't know that well. <laughs> I'm going to move as well. I'm going to go boop, and then boop. And then boop. Okay. Booping all over town. I'm just booping all over the place. <laughs> booping all over the place. <laughs> and we're booping, we're hits. booping, we're booping, we're booping in ATVs. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to help you on that brown treasure, my friend. It is within two of the biggest lake. Okay, so we haven't got any brown cubes on the board right now. Is that because it's too too vague? It's because it um it's hasn't been narrowed down to seventeen or less yeah. possible places okay. it can be. Yeah. Right. Very specific number seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that the grey treasure is Oh Yeah. Is next to C. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, that could be three. Yes. <laughs> Did you yes. realize that? Yeah, no, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's anything I can do. Mm. No. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say the brown treasure mm -hmm. is within what? No, can't do that one. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Not allowed. I'm gonna say the brown treasure is on a lay on a river. In the river. In the river. On the river. In the river. In the river yeah. next to the lake. Okay, cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to say that the grey treasure, which I definitely wasn't uh, planning to be finished with by now. <laughs> now what? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just show me where it currently is. Is next to a palm tree. Oh, no. Which is where I am. Okay. I've seen everything. Okay, I have seen them. Uh-huh. So now do I get an extra compass because I also dug the treasure up? Right, got it. Yeah, so the person who digs up the treasure gets an extra compass, yeah. Nope, nope. Oh, you don't want that delicious too? I'm nope. going to take a five. Uh, I reckon that's better than a three. I reckon. I reckon that's better than a two as well. 
No, I have to take it. <laughs> no! Oh. I only saw a three and a two, so yeah. That's all oh, I know. I'm feeling pretty cash rich right now, let me tell you. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> you're smashing it so far. It's very upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in sight of means within two spaces, does it? Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Right. So it doesn't mean the space it's actually on, though. Okay. I don't think. Or does it? Not sure now. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it means within, like, the space it's actually on is within two spaces of said thing. Yeah. Yeah. I always say within, yeah. Okay. So, right. I'm going to go... I'm going to move my ATV. Uh, oh, I have to reopen the map. Yeah. My, my, mm -hmm. my bad. Okay, so Otherwise, gonna, there's no amulets. That's very true. Oh, God. Uh, let's keep it nice and vague on the white... On the grey treasure, sorry, by saying it's not next to the sea. Nice and vague. Vague. Vague indeed. Okie dokes. I'm going to move... Over here. Give me more amulets. <laughs> She's absolutely <laughs> mad on amulets. She can't and get I'm enough gonna, of them amulets. I'm going to come back here. And I'm now going to use an amulet to do some <gasps> extra things. Play a clue card. <gasps> Can you remind me what the amulets do again? Because I've immediately forgotten. I know they protect you from cursed treasures. And then apart from that, it's essentially like getting an extra turn. You can either play oh, a clue okay. card or you can move. It, it'll give you like a list of options when you play it. Okay. Um, the, uh, what? Oh, right. Okay. That makes sense. The... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Does that actually narrow it down? I don't think it does. Does that narrow that down? Not really. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't work, does it? That doesn't work. Aha. Now, the grey one is within one of, uh, beside the biggest beach, which is where I am, funnily enough. That is where you are. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So in real life, the game, um, like those plastic, the palm trees and the huts are little plastic bits, like plastic things. Mm -hmm. And then the um, the stone ones are kind of like heavier material. I don't know what they're made from, but they feel really nice. There's like a nice little weight to them. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice, I'm going to go one leg, two leg, three leg. Okay, okay. The grey one is within two of a hut. Oh, the grey's very, very close to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, because there's two huts there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab myself some amulets. Can I grab more than Ooh. one? I think so. Yeah. No, no. I'll keep moving, friend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> double amulets, please. Yeah. Fantastic. Not happy about it. Okay. All right. I'll move over here. Uh. So then I can use an amulet. Right. So I can either play a clue card, remove one sight marker, move my ATV, or exchange your clue cards. Okay. So I'm going to play one clue card mm -hmm. and I'm going to say that I might open up the white treasure and say that it's in sight of the largest river. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now I'll end my turn. Okay. I'm going to say... Hmm. 
to say that the white treasure is not next to a hut. Okay. That is where oh. I am. <laughs> next to yeah. a hut. You're on the hut. Technically. Well, well, I don't know if I'm on the hut. <laughs> You're in the hut. I know it's hut. an all-terrain vehicle. But like... <laughs> okay, I'm going to say that... Uh, the white treasure is in the jungle. Whoa. And then I'm going to use okay. an amulet to move my ATV. I can still do three legs. Yeah. Okay. One. No, wait, hold on. Wait, how do I go back? <laughs> have I screwed this already? No, no, it's fine. That is still the furthest I could have gone. Three. Okay. Okay, dokie. I don't like the way you keep raising the treasures. Not, not about that, like. Hey, look, I'm good at it. All right, you should be proud of me. <laughs> My favorite thing is when I teach someone a new game and they immediately beat me. Because I'm like, okay, cool. I taught you well. <laughs> it's my least favorite thing. <laughs> I only teach people games so that I might smite them. <laughs> uh, okay. The I'm just going to crack on with my own thing. The Grey Treasure, if anyone cares, <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> is not the side of river. Okay, still two. So I want to play my ATV, move on to the treasure. Um, yeah, I'll end my turn to pick it up. Ooh. Okay, I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen some good stuff. <gasps> Had oh. you seen that one? Yeah, is that how that works, huh? Yep. Oh, God. Guess I'm cursed. So I had an amulet, so I just used my amulet on it. But I think you had spent all your amulets, so you yeah. lost your... You you lost six gold coins. Yeah. <gasps> Ouch. So nobody mm. got anything from that treasure hall? No, because you threw away the only... The two, right? We yep. both threw that away. <laughs> Well, I wasn't expecting it to come out the first one. <laughs> oh, my God. The second one, rather. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, well, let's see. Now, there are only two cursed cards in the whole treasure deck. So, yeah. We've got 24 cards left in the treasure deck, and only one of those will be a cursed one. The white treasure is not in the largest jungle. Okay. Not in the largest jungle. Right, so we've got loads of amulets that have just come out again. Yeah, I should probably grab one of those, honestly. <laughs> mm. Hmm. 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 Don't really have much that helps me, which is great. So I will say. That the black treasure is within one of the jungle. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to grab an amulet. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and then my turn. I should really pay attention to what new card I get because I have to keep looking at all of my cards because I can't <laughs> remember which one's already had. Mm. Oh, oh no, that doesn't work. The white treasure is not next to a lake. Okay. I'm going to move again. I'm going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to end my turn. It's getting tense now. 
Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to move again. I'm going to go one. Whoa. Uh, and then two. And then I'll stay here. Uh, yep, yeah, and then I'll use an ambulance play cue card <laughs> to say that the brown treasure is next to the scrubland. Whoa. <gasps> okay, I've seen them. Me too. Me also as well. Yeah, nice catch. Yeah, nice catch. <laughs> mm, sure, I'll take it. Nope. Nah, I'll wait. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take a three. Bums. Bums and even more bums. <laughs> okay, let's reopen the brown map. And we'll get ourselves a nice next to the river. Very nice indeed. Oh, delicious river. Mm. <laughs> Very tasty. Is there anything just grey and black out at the moment, isn't there? So I will just move to yes, please. Picking up the amulets. It's gotta be done. Somebody's gotta do it. Looking very fashionable. Um I'm gonna say that the brown treasure is in the largest scrubland which is right near me hmm hmm <laughs> it was kind of a waste of a turn but oh well <laughs> well i'm just i'm just going to move and pick up this amulet so that's fine Yes, please. I would love an amulet. Thank you. And now I'm I'm back on top of a heart in my all-terrain vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The brown treasure is within two of the sea. Mm. I just want to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man, this is spicy. <laughs> spicy. <laughs> oh, that's a spicy one, that is. Okay, all right. Uh... Uh... Oh, gosh. Um... Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm going to say that the... <laughs> Oh no, none of these change anything. Um oh, I can't do that. Oh no. Can I not do anything? Well I guess I could do one of the ones that hasn't really been talked about much yet. <laughs> Let's say the the white treasure is on the beach. Good for you, white treasure. <laughs> Just having a nice relaxing day off, being a treasure. What a treasure. Do we also end yeah. the game if we run out of treasure cards? The, that is how you end the game. Oh, oh not, not uh, cool map cards. cards. Um No, yeah, if you it's the it's the treasure the treasure map cards, they just uh no. <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the money deck will reset, but the map deck won't. Is that what you're saying? No. The money deck won't reset. The, when the money deck runs out, those are the treasure cards. Right, got it. That's that ends the game. But the treasure map cards, they'll reset. They get okay. Reset. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even a confusing question. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long two years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the white treasure is in is it is on the beach. It's on the biggest beach. I've said. It's that's where it is. Biggest beach, okay. It's on the biggest beach right next to me. All the treasure is near me right now, and I'm happy about it. Well, not the black one. 
I'm not that far. I'm three legs. Hmm. Um. The brown treasure is not next to a statue. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I don't think I can play any of these. Um. Oh. 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 <laughs> Monsoir. <laughs> the gray treasure is not in a river. <gasps> Oh, you could use an amulet. I could, but I won't. But you won't. Oh, my goodness. You've got a lot of dibs on the great treasure. I do. Um, I'm going to move. I'm going to go one, two, three. And then I'm going to use an amulet. I'm going to play a clue card and say that the white treasure is in sight of a statue. No. <laughs> yes, I would like to raise the treasure. Okay. 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 Yes. Nice catch. Yeah. Nice catch. Damn. Yes. Nice catch. Yes. Nice catch. <laughs> nope. I'll wait. Nope. I'll wait. Mm, yes. This cat. No. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Gosh darn it. You just couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> I only saw one five and a three, I think, is what I saw. So. <laughs> okay, and we'll reopen the map for the white and say that it is in the lake. Okay. I shall move. What a surprise. One, I can't two. Believe. I can't believe you'd move. Yes, I will raise a treasure. Oh, wow. I'm seeing a lot here. I'm seeing yeah. five cards. <laughs> You've got a decent preview, I'd say. Okay. Yes. Yes. Ooh. E yes. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> no. I'll just take a three. It's too rich. Yes. Too rich for my blood. Yeah, there we go. It's fine. There's one after this one, so I could say no to this and see if there's a better one. It'd be funny if it was a cursed do. one, though, wouldn't it? Oh, very good. Very good. Different. Now I get to play something. Um, I'm going to say that the great treasure is in next to the largest shrublands. Wow. It's a lot of treasure on top of each other in the center <laughs> of the map at the moment. Anything could be um, anywhere right now. God, there's a lot of amulets ah, also, on the bottom of the board. Yeah, there's no treasure <laughs> down there though, which just makes it like in a stupid place to go to. It's actually important as well, actually. Um, if you use an amulet to move, you mm. cannot pick up an amulet. Oh, you, you can't string them. Okay, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, just so you know, just in case you try. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just in case you try anything funny. Me? Funny? <laughs> never. I've never been funny in my life. Um. I'm going to say that the... Also, there's only four treasure cards left. <gasps> so basically the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Basically. If I... The move is not authorized now. Oh, sorry. No, I want to play. If I play this on here, does that work? Right, okay, okay. Um uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I <laughs> Oh my god, this is really hard. I'm gonna say that the 
the <laughs> the black treasure. Nah, you're red, aren't you? I kind of want to shore up brown. I'm going to say that the grey treasure is next to the largest jungle. Whoa. Which is a real, real narrowing. Grab that amulet. Are amulets worth anything at the end of the game? No. Okay, good to know. Hmm. I want to use an amulet. I want to use an amulet. <laughs> and I want point? you to show me. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I will use an amulet to play a clue card. Oh. To say oh. the grey treasure <laughs> is not in the biggest lake. Oh, which means it's right there. End my turn. Wait a minute. What? Okay. But then what I mean? can just go one, two and yeah. raise the treasure. Yeah, but we're guaranteed a cursed relic, aren't we? So I have an amulet that'll save Are me. Are we? Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, it's two in the deck, and there's only four cards left, and we only had one come up. Oh, oh no! <laughs> I saw a curse card and a six, and of course the curse card was the first one to come up. Oh! Yes, I still won. <laughs> it was quite close in the end. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. GG, and that's how you play Tobago. Bearing in mind that I I lost six just then. So mm -hmm. I would have been on 59 had not. You lost the six then and you lost six earlier as well. Yeah. So you've lost 12 in the game. So to, to still come out on top, I must have been doing all right, I reckon. Must have been doing all right. Yeah. God, yeah. that was a lot of fun, actually. I really like that. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? I love the game a lot. And like, obviously, with the different boards, the different combination of changes, um, it'll also change because the uh, palm trees and the huts and everything, they all get placed randomly on the board. So like where amulets appear and the way you narrow things down on the board, like all changes. It's mm. a very like modular board, which makes it like really interesting. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I, I like the um, I like the fact that we had ATVs, so I could drive on top of huts. I like the <laughs> uh, I like the little stone statues moving and and the game going. Ooh, I wonder what this could be. <laughs> Despite the rule book just being like, oh, you just pop an amulet down. <laughs> it's um, it's from like two thousand and nine, and like mm. I said, I've. I've I always talk about this game and nobody ever really knows what I'm talking about, but it's so good. And I don't really know, like, I don't understand how it's fallen under the radar so much. It's Maybe this so, will so bring good. a new surge of popularity and will convince them to reprint it. Maybe. I hope so. Who knows? I, I, bought, I bought a secondhand copy on, like, I don't know where it was, eBay or something, just because I was like, I need a copy. But yeah, I would love it. I would adore if they did a reprint. I would adore it. Well, you heard it here first, publishers. Get on it. <laughs> Get on it. Get on it. Over to you, ladies. See, oh. See us out. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're done. Well, <laughs> thank you very much for watching yet another You've Never Played. And now Wheels can never say that he's never played Tobago. It's true. And I now can't you... say that in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can't say you've never watched two people play Tobago. And I hope you feel better about it. Also, you can play this for free on Board Game Arena, which is where we've just played it as well. Um, but yeah, that was it from us. If you'd like to see more from us, there are plenty more videos from us for you to check out, which you can pop to the end of the screen. There'll be some popping up or probably on, on the right, somewhere along the side. If you hit the bell um, icon, you'll also be notified of future videos. Um, and of course, you can head over to dicebreaker.com for lots of br brilliantly written articles by our colleagues, Alex Meehan, Matt Jarvis, and plenty of... <laughs> What are you doing? Plenty of other <laughs> fabulous guest writers. I'm doing interpretive dance for those who don't understand English. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> if you don't understand English, thank you for for sitting through this entire video. <laughs> not that you can, not that you can understand the same. <laughs> thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day. Bye.